Other causes of lameness that you may see less frequently are toe granuloma, um, abscesses and shelly hoof. Toe granulomas are often caused by damage to the foot. So this can either be through over trimming, especially if the trimming's caused the foot to bleed, or through chronic foot rot conditions that have been left untreated. Toe granulomas can be difficult to treat, and so it's often worth consulting your vet for the best advice for treatment in your particular case. The best way to avoid having toe granulomas as a problem is to avoid over trimming feet. In fact, it's, it's often not necessary to trim feet for treatment, and therefore by avoiding trimming you can hopefully reduce the levels of toe gran granulomas if they're a problem on your farm. Another problem that you may see that may lead to lameness is particularly in wet conditions. You may get balls of mud um, stuck between the toes. This can often irritate the skin and may lead animals to appear lame. But usually once this is cleared out of the space between the toes, the lameness will resolve. So another condition we can sometimes see in the feet is an abscess. So in this foot here, we've, we've got an abscess present. So Often the signs of this will be swelling and heat in the foot. Um, this foot I can feel is it's really hot around here and I can see that it's quite, it's quite swollen in this area. So often the cause of an abscess will be when a thorn or a stone has penetrated into the foot either through the skin in the interdigital space or often through the white line where the sole horn joins with the wall horn. This is often a, a place where thorns or stones can track up and they will take the bacteria that cause the abscess with them. So in order to treat an abscess, one of the most important things to do if it has tracked up the white line is to try and ensure that the abscess is draining. Sometimes this will already be the case and you can see some pus oozing from the, the top of the coronary band where the, the horn joins the skin. Um, and sometimes you, there'll be an, an infected smell as well. But if this isn't the case, Sometimes you just need to make a small opening on the, on the base of the foot just to let the, the pus drain. And then the other treatment really is, is to use antibiotics to treat the infection. Um, and this will hopefully kill those bacteria that have entered the, the tissues. Shelly hoof is a condition where the uh, wall horn of the foot separates from the, the side of the foot slightly so that you get a pocket between the horn and the underlying tissue. It's not an infectious condition and sheep will often not actually be lame with this condition. The cause of the disease is, is uncertain um, and if it's not causing a problem it's probably best to, to leave the feet alone um, rather than attempting to trim off sections of horn. One of the risks with shelly hoof is that stones or dirt can become impacted in the pocket and if this frequently happens it can be worth using hoof putty to pack the pocket to prevent any impactions within that space.